Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on the channel again today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, today's video is gonna be on whether or not the Lincoln 330 MPX in specific, the carbureted edition, runs well at elevation. Uh, we run this while they're pretty much day in and day out between 4,000 and 6,500 feet. Um, this is the first job that I've done that was over 8,000 feet in elevation. So I just wanted to do a short little video because when I was looking, I could not find a video on YouTube anywhere on whether or not these things, the carbureted versions of these generator welders runs good at elevation. So let's tune into the video and uh, let me know what you guys think and your thoughts. And as always, please give it a subscribe if you like it, thumbs up, leave me some comments. I love reading the comments. You guys have been awesome. So uh, with that, let's get into the video and thanks again for watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about does high elevation welding affect your generator welder if it's carbureted? Today in particular, we're gonna be talking about my Lincoln 330 MPX. It's a 2022 model, and we're gonna see if elevation affects the performance of this welder. I don't think it will, because I've used it at about 6,000, 7,000 feet. Today we're way up high. We're at the top of the Sierra Mountains and we're pushing about 8,500 feet. Uh, I've already been running it for a minute, so I can tell you, I don't think it's gonna affect it, but we're gonna show you kind of how you set up a wire feeder and how I like to set one up. I'm using the Lincoln Active 8X suitcase welder, and we'll, uh, we'll get right into it and show you what we got going on here. So here we have everything coming out of the, the welder. So we start with gas. Let's start with our gas. We have 7525 little bottle regulator running down gas to the back of the wire feeder over here we have our positive lead running out of the welder and the cool the coil right there out to the back of the, the, the welder over here negative we have our negative side runs over over here to the gate this is what we're repairing today snowplow came and took out this lady's gate latch Little probably hour repair. She had a bunch of JB welding everything trying to fix it, but we're just gonna slap that puppy back on there and weld it up. Now I know a lot of you are gonna say, could have used stick weld, you could have done that, whatever. You know what? I already had everything set up in the bed of my truck from a job the other day, so I'm not gonna pull all my stick rod out. I'm just gonna throw some hard wire on this and know it'll last a long time. Can't beat these views though. It's beautiful out here today. The road's running right along here, so it might be a little noisy, I apologize. Let's see how she fires up here at elevation. Now uh, she's been running for a minute, so take that as a grain of salt, it's already warm, I already know how it's gonna run, I just wanna show you guys. Oh, okay. We're at 8,500 feet. That's carbureted. Running just regular. I think I run super, super, the 91 octane. Doesn't even hesitate. High elevation, it does work. Don't let anyone tell you that these things don't work at high elevation, cold weather. I've welded with this thing in a snowstorm. I've welded with this welder in downpouring rain and now we're taking it to the extremes of elevation. I wanna go up higher. I need to find someone that needs a welding repair higher so I can do like a 10,000 feet repair or even higher. I don't know what we have higher here in the Sierras, but I'm hoping I can find something higher so I can keep pushing the limits of this welder and see what we can do to see how much we can squeeze out of this welder. Cause I know a lot of people don't like these Kohlers. I understand that. I've already had a little bit of issues with this. If you look at a previous video, I had oil filter issues where my oil filter leaked a ton of oil all over the bed of my truck, all over a customer's driveway. It was a mess. So uh, I'll put my camera on the stand right now and uh, let's get this lady's gate repaired and uh, get out of here because we don't make a whole lot of money just sitting around making videos.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is how we fix a gate repair. An hour am I, well, or sorry, an hour away from civilization at elevation. And I would say there is no difference between welding at sea level, 4,000 feet, which is where I mostly weld, 6,000 and 8,000. Um, as you can see here, oh, let me spin this guy around here for you. Well, did it back on just fine no issues elevation doesn't affect these things um, if you have any more questions about how I set these guys up uh, any of the tools that I use out here I'll put links in the descriptions for grinders cutoff wheels of any of that stuff if you if you're interested in it or you have questions about it please ask happy to help and as always if you're not subscribed please think about subscribing like this video Leave me comments. I love to read the comments. Keeps me entertained during the week. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Peace.